Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing Ipsy Ultimate for the month of September. So for those of you who don't know, Ipsy Ultimate is Ipsy's largest subscription box. It does retail for $50 a month. It comes with eight full-size products and four deluxe size samples. You do get to choose one item a month and they do promise a value of at least $250. So if you're interested in Ipsy, I have a referral code that I'll leave down in the description box below. And if you're into subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, I am going to go ahead and get into this box. So as I said, this is Ipsy's largest subscription box. They do also have the Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month for five full-size products. And then they have the regular Ipsy Glam Bag, which is $12 a month for five deluxe size and once in a while a full-size item. And I will say that with this subscription and any of the Ipsy subscriptions, they all do come with a bag if you are interested in that, which I actually enjoy, but at this point I have so many bags. But when you open it, it does say discover yourself. It has some foam and then all of your products. So it looks like this month the theme is good vibes. And I am so happy to say that they actually have the items listed that you got in your box and what they are worth, which is really exciting that they finally brought this back. It took them long enough for sure. But okay, let me just start with the first item that I am seeing. And this is from Belle and Argent. And this is their cream lip color in smoking on screen. And this is full size and it's worth $26. And it's a cruelty and vegan free brand. So this is apparently a really good shade for fall. So here is kind of what the color looks like. I don't think I'm going to swatch this because I know I have a lip color from this brand and it almost looks identical. So I don't know if I have this yet, but their packaging is like really, really nice. And it even has like, it's textured, which is awesome. And then here is what the shade looks like. This definitely is the perfect fall shade but I just, I don't gravitate towards these shade colors too often. And I'm not sure if I have this one already. So I don't want to be wasteful, but I do really like this brand and I feel like they do have some pretty good lip colors. I just wish this one was more of like a friendly colored shade in my opinion, at least like even what I'm wearing today is very bold for me. Okay, so the next item is from Gold Fadden MD and this is their Brightening Elixir Protect and Repair Brightening Serum. And this right here is worth $80 for one fluid ounce. So this has a lot of good products in it, a lot of different vitamins. This boosts hydration and increases radiance, reduces the appearance of discoloration and redness, and minimizes the appearance of fine lines. And it also says for a problem of photo damaged skin. So this will probably be interesting. It does have a lot of benefits, like no animal testing, dermatologist tested, vegan, paraben free, alcohol free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, good for all skin types, things like that. I kind of wish this was for like minimizing the appearance of pores too, not just fine lines, but I think I can get use out of this for discoloration and redness because that is something that I do struggle with. And here's the packaging. As you can see, it's like a way smaller product compared to the box but it does come with a nice pump applicator. So I am excited about that. And I am kind of excited to get use out of this. I mean, $80, if I love this product, I definitely would not go repurchase it because that's too expensive, but it is cool to get it in this box. So the next item is a deluxe sample and this is from Dose. This is their Freematic Blush Mono in Daydream. So it says, this is a silky powder that glides on effort effortlessly for streak and smudge free application. But I've heard this is like a very neutral blush that just gives you such a pretty glow. So I guess we will find out. Let's see. So here is what it looks like. The packaging is not the best, but let's go ahead and swatch that. So here is the blush right there. This actually is a very pretty shade and I do actually like this color a lot. So I am excited that I did decide to swatch it because I wasn't sure. I usually don't use a ton of like tiny samples of like makeup products, but this is really pretty. It does say it's a promotional item only, which is interesting, but anyway, it's a really pretty shade and I will definitely get use out of this. I just need to make it a point to leave it out. So the next item is a makeup brush and this is from Royal and Langnickel. This is their Moda Neon Angle Contour Blush Brush. Okay, well that's kind of perfect. You get a blush brush with some blush. So here's what it looks like. Definitely a very fun color. This is full size and worth $19.99. It's a vegan and cruelty-free makeup brush. 
that has some really nice bristles. I like that they're kind of like two-toned. This definitely feels like a nice brush. I don't really contour so I probably will use this more as like a blush brush and then maybe get another one to like kind of blend it out more. But this is a really nice brush for sure. I actually like this a lot. The color is just so fun. So it's always cool to get brushes that way I don't have to go to the store and buy them. So the next item is from Hello Organic and this is one a day sheet mask set. So let me take it out of the plastic. Okay, so this does come with three different sheet masks and this retails for $7.50 for all three. So you do get a hydrating mask. And these are all natural and organic. You do get a pore refining mask, which is definitely the mask that I need. And then you also get a brightening mask. Oh, this has peaches and limes in it. I'm pretty sure that mask is going to smell really, really nice. So, I mean, it's always cool to get sheet masks. At this point, I have a ton. I personally don't feel like this should be a full-size item in a box that's worth $50. I kind of expected this more or less in, like, the $12 Ipsy bag. But, I mean, in a $50 box, this should not be considered a full-size item. But enough of that rant. We are going to move on. The next item in the box is a deluxe size sample, and this is from Georgette Killinger. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. This is the collagen and elastin mask. So this mask is going to make your skin plumper and firmer. So it also strengthens the skin that is smooth, supple, and younger looking. So you leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes, then you rinse it. It's made in the USA, cruelty-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and fragrance-free. It does say it's for combination dry and sensitive skin. And I'm not really sure why they sent this to me then because it does say on my profile that I have oily skin. So I guess they weren't really paying attention to that too much. But anyway, the full size version of this is 50 milliliters for $32. I don't know why I actually thought this was like a, a hair mask at first. Just when I saw mask, I thought hair for some reason. But I mean, we'll see. It's not for my skin type, so I'm not as excited, but I will still give it a try. Okay, the next item is from La Muse, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's really hard to see. There we go. And this is their Deep Color Lip Balm in Poppy. So this is full size and worth $28. So this is just going to give your skin some hydration with a nice tint. So here's the packaging. I do like the packaging a lot. It kind of reminds me of this Kula lip product. Let's see if it has a scent. Oh, I do get like a little bit of a fruity scent. So here's what it looks like. I do like products like this. Okay. So here is what it looks like right here. I was expecting a little bit more of a tint. So if I just do it once, like it's really hard to tell. So this is something that if you're looking for like more of a tint, you do need to build up. But products like this are great. I will definitely get use out of this. I just, right now I don't really wear products like this because I mean, I wear a mask all day at work. So it's kind of weird to get lip products right now. But lip balm is always great. And I'm super excited about this one for sure. And the next item is from Kenzie, and this is their Life Beats Body Lotion. This is a deluxe size sample as well. Full size is 200 milliliters and worth $18. And this is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. So this is body lotion. We all know how body lotion works. Let's see what this smells like. It probably is sealed. It is sealed and I'm going to keep it that way because I don't need one open right now, but this does have a very nice scent to it. This would even be good just to throw in your purse, or I can leave this in my desk at work whenever I need some lotion. But this is a really cute size, and it's cool to get in this box as a sample. So the next item was my choice item, and this is from Huda Beauty, and this is their Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. This is full size and worth $35. So this is a hydrating primer, and I know I usually go for things that are more for like matte based, but I feel like I really wanted to try this. I was intrigued by it. And I can always mix it with like a matte powder, setting spray, and a matte foundation to kind of make it more for my skin type. I looked on Sephora. This did not have the best reviews, but I am still excited to try it out. Comes with nice packaging and a pump, so I am excited to try this out. I have a ton of primers open right now, so I'm not going to try this one yet, but I am excited about it. If you've tried this, comment down below and let me know your thoughts because, again, the reviews have been very hit or miss. I just realized I haven't shown the bag yet, and that's like the first thing I usually show. Anyway, the next item I was actually really excited that I got, and this is from Jewel Up Beauty. This is their Cushion Complexion Concealer, and I got mine in the shade Ivory. So this is full size, retails for $16. It's a 5-in-1 skin perfecter with turmeric. Let's see if I can get it out. 
hopefully it's a pretty good shade match. Oh, their packaging is like really fancy. So you can see a little bit there what the color would be. And then it is one of those ones where you just twist it up and then the product comes on this little applicator. Honestly, I am excited about this. This is like a really fancy one. And I'm so glad I got this in the box. All right, so I think I am down to the last two items. And I'm really confused why Ipsy just sends me this stuff. I don't know if it's something everybody got. But if you watch my channel, you know it must be eyeliner. So this is from Pixie by Petra. There is an Endless Silky Eye Pen Duo in Black Caviar and Bronze Beam. They are full size and worth $24. I'm assuming it's $24 each. So I'm assuming they're, well, $24 in total, so they're $12 each. Here are the shades. You do get a couple different shades, which is cool. So you do get more of a brown one. And then I've heard that the black is not super black, so it's more of like a brownish black. So if you're into some different colored eyeliners, then this is a really great product for you. For me, I have on my profile that I don't wear eyeliner, but I still get them. Just gonna leave that there. Okay, and then the next item is from Zoeva, and this is their Caramel Melange Eyeshadow Palette. Full size, worth $28. So the packaging does look the same. It does not come with a mirror. And then here are the shades. So most of them are mattes, but you do get, what is it? Like, oh, there's a couple shimmers in there. Okay, so you get six mattes and four shimmers. This looks like it's a really good fall palette. I wasn't sure if I was going to swatch this or not because I do have so many eyeshadow palettes, but hmm, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it because even if I was not going to keep it, this one does look like it has like a little bit of like a mark on it. I'm assuming like this part hit it. So I'm just going to swatch them and I will show you what they look like. Okay, so here are all of the palette swatches. I will honestly say they did swatch pretty nicely. At first I felt like the mattes swatched better, but then some of the shimmers, like especially this one right here, they swatched really, really well. So I feel like this is definitely a neutral palette, but it does have more of like a warm toned vibe to it, which I feel like is kind of unique, these, this color combination. Um, they are still super bold, so I would probably still really blend them out, but it is nice. Hopefully I get use out of it. This definitely is, I feel like, a really unique neutral palette for sure. So, I mean, it is cool to have. And this definitely is, like, perfect fall colors for sure. But, okay, I believe the last item is just the makeup bag. So, here is the makeup bag for the Glam Bag Ultimate. It is the largest of the three bags. So, it is this mustard yellow cranberry color with a stripe. The other side is just solid mustard yellow. On the inside, it is kind of like that burgundy wine color. It has the Ipsy tag. It does have like the gold zipper. So this is a nice bag. I mean, the colors are not exactly my style. And this texture is just like super like wintry. And I live in Florida, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of this. But I mean, it is still a nice bag. And I'm sure I will get at least some use out of it. But okay, that brings me to the end of this unboxing. And I will say, like, I'm super excited about the concealer and the item that I chose and I mean I can definitely get some use out of the other products this was not my favorite box I will be honest and say this was not my favorite month I actually was going to cancel and I thought I did cancel but apparently it didn't go through all the way or like I don't know if I went back and changed it but when I saw that it was billed $50 I was like what happened and then I realized I did not cancel it so I mean had I known what I would get in the box would I have canceled it probably yes not to say that the products aren't good because they are good but at this point i do have a lot of items and i mean i will still get use out of it but i feel like i would have rather had 50 dollars. but okay anyway enough of that rant it's it can be very hit or miss go ahead and comment down below let me know your thoughts what did you like about this box what did you not like about this box thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video